like doing it. All right, I'll talk to y'all. I'm just gonna probably tell what it is just from the like the shape of it. Mm. So good. I don't want to date. I don't want to date a broke man. My seven year old needs like a little training bra. <laughs> Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Happy Monday, or whenever you're watching this video. Hold on, because my lips feel real dry. So we about to use the Fenty Cake Shake um, lip balm. That's what we about to use. Let's do that real quick. My lips feeling dry. It's Monday morning, and I just had to take the kids, drop them off at my mom's house so I could work. Just vibing. I passed Dunkin' Donuts and I was like, ooh, I can get me an oat milk latte. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, but happy Monday. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are subscribed already. If you're not, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. I would love for you to join the family. Um, anyway, Monday morning, July. 20 July 19th Monday July 19th and so much to do today so um I haven't really been in the like vlogging mood lately I don't know why but I just haven't been there like mentally feeling like vlogging but um I need to get back into it because I have to pre-film a bunch of videos this week because next week we are on vacation and we're going to the Dominican Republic and I'm so freaking excited and I don't want to get too far behind while we're gone on vacation five days in the beautiful sun in Punta Cana on somebody's resort with somebody's son sipping somebody's drink okay <laughs> it's gonna be a good time so I'm really excited for that um however today it's just a lot of prep work I'm already pissed off first of all because I was supposed to have a lash appointment um this morning I am going to finally try lash extensions I was supposed to be going this morning but the girl um called me and canceled and I'm like god damn like it's my first time trying them so I was so excited and now she called me and canceled so there's this other place they're open today um all they do are lash extensions I don't when I looked online and tried to book they didn't have any appointments but I'm hoping if I call and I'm like hey you guys have any last minute anything that they'll say yes and let me in if not I'm just gonna make an appointment for later in the week so um, that may be another vlog, but I'll take you guys there, of course. So that was one letdown this morning. My last appointment got canceled, but I do got my vacation nails. Mark and I did go to uh, the nail salon yesterday and we got um, our nails done and our toes done. My husband does get his manis and pedis, okay? <laughs> so we went and got that and um i still need to pack like everything i'm waiting on a package with some dresses that i want to pack but i can at least get started packing my makeup and like my toiletries my skincare and stuff like that i can at least get started packing that stuff so i do want to do that tonight and then i also need to bleach the knots on the wig that i'll be wearing when we go so what i did last time and it worked out quite well is i wore a headband wig like in the pool and stuff and it was super easy to take off put on obviously excuse me headband wigs you don't have to do much work so 
I wore a headband wig like in the pool and stuff and then at night I wore I had a closure wig that I wore I didn't want to fool with a frontal or anything like that no hair glue nothing like that so I just brought a closure wig and it worked out so perfectly looked so good and I was able to like style that at night so curly headband wig for the pool closure wig at night and it works out perfectly yes yeah, can I have a medium iced latte with um, oat milk and four pumps of caramel syrup that's it thank you all right she just told me 5 35 but i could have sworn last time i did this it was six dollars now i'm like did i get cheated i swear the last time i ordered it it was six dollars um but anyway, that's what I'm doing with my hair for vacation. So I just need to prep my wigs and stuff and I need to get those all packed. I can also start packing my carry-on bag with um, and my shoes and everything like that. It's just that all the clothes aren't here yet. So I'm still waiting on my package. So we're gonna do some packing, some prepping for vacation and all of that. Today is a work day, it's a Monday. So I do have to, to do some work. So we're gonna go back home and do a little work from home do diddy like we normally do and i also have a workout schedule for this afternoon as well so very busy packed day very very busy packed day um so i was just listening to a song y'all okay let me first topic of the day i was just listening to a song by jasmine sullivan um hotels who that i still got that uh I was gonna say CD, how old am I? I still got that album on repeat. I love Hotels by Jasmine Sullivan. Um, so, Price Tags is what it's called. And um, it's, I don't know, it's basically, there's like a little interlude before the song where they're basically talking about um, like all women ho, basically. And they like, even if you married, you still ho because you basically giving some to your husband because you know he gonna give you you know what you want or gonna give you uh the things that you want after you do what you need to do and uh <laughs> so um and i was thinking about it and i'm like you know what she kind of telling the truth though because uh i done had plenty of times where i'm like god sometimes you gotta do something a little strange to, to get something, you know what I'm saying? To get a yes, you know? Hold on. Thank you. But yeah, I didn't been there, honey. Sometimes the answer is no. And it ain't even gotta be about like, like getting something, like buying something. It could just be about uh, like, I wanna do something. Maybe I wanna do some sort of something for the house, like some sort of home renovation for the house, or I want a more extravagant party for our daughter or our son or something like that then he want to purchase and i'm just, sometimes you gotta do something a little strange to get what you want you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um they was talking about that and that cracked me up but then i also saw a post on instagram from tokyo vanity and she is one of the girls that was on um loving hip-hop or whatever and she made a post and she was basically like i don't know why y'all be fronting don't nobody want no broke like don't like that's what she said she said date within your basically date within your budget okay okay so i had to go back and find it she basically said normalize dating within your budget which first of all i'm tired of people saying normalize everything normalize not saying normalize how about that but anyway she was basically saying date within your budget stop getting mad at people for wanting to date somebody who has something especially when they have something and i totally agree i feel like people all the time are like oh money doesn't matter in a relationship and all of that but i ain't trying to date okay so if i if me and mark broke up today and i'm back out on a dating pool i ain't trying to date nobody who don't have nothing i don't want to date 
I don't want to date a broke man. And I, I, I can be honest about that. And I feel like it's a lot of people that don't be honest about that. And I feel like it goes both ways too. So if you a man and you make a good income, you don't have to date somebody who don't have anything. Like that's, you don't have to date nobody like that. So why are you doing that? I feel like it's men that always complain about women not having nothing. And it's like, well, but you chose to date her or take her out or whatever the case. Like, or women always want their way pay. And it's like, well, if you gonna keep paying it, like, like, I mean, but, <laughs> you know, stop paying it. I don't know what to tell you because I ain't paying no man's way. I am not doing it, okay? And if y'all know, so if y'all know me and my husband's history, basically I met him when I was 21. He was 25. Neither of us had anything like Nathan. Not a dime to our name. Like, neither of us had anything. So... I feel like we we kind of you know grew up as adults together and built what we have together so I had nothing he ain't had nothing so that was fine but now I'm not dating nobody like that like you we need to be kind of doing the same thing and I don't know that everybody always said oh well money isn't important I don't even know if it's so much money it's what you're doing that's resulting in the money so for me it's the drive it's the hustle it's the ambition because i have it why would i want to date somebody who don't have that like i have a really strong drive really strong hustle ambition all of that and i'm i want somebody who gonna match that for me you know what i'm saying so and, and if you got drive hustle and ambition then you're not gonna be broke you know you're just not going to be maybe when you're first starting out or something but yeah drive, drive hustle and ambition do not equal broke it, it does not so it's just I, like people i feel like i feel like people yeah that's the goddamn seat i forgot to put that seat back but i feel like people be wanting to be fake deep on social media you know y'all be seeing it people like to be fake deep on social media talking about money don't matter in relationships and blah 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 use a lot because money does matter and as i'm again it's more so about the hustle and the ambition of it all so maybe we are about two years into our relationship with my relationship with my husband um when I first met him he had told me like I'm gonna go back to school I want to get my PhD I want to do this I want to do that he had all these grand dreams right and so about two years into our relationship I just felt like he was kind of stalling out like he wasn't doing anything anything that he said he was gonna do he wasn't quite making moves forward and we had a really honest sit down talk and we were like hey and I, well I was like hey I just feel like you know you're not doing the things you told me that you were gonna be doing when I met you like you're not you don't have any type of push you're not doing anything and I think he just kind of lost his motivation for a minute but it was like seriously like after that conversation it was like all up from there like I, seriously it was like something switched in him and, and he was kind of like you know what I'm not doing what I said I was gonna do and I need to change that and that's what happened and it was like I, I mean yeah that's just not sexy somebody who not who not doing anything who not trying to move themselves forward who not trying to move their family forward ain't nothing sexy about that at all at all like nothing and i think it's a different story like and first of all everybody's definition of success and moving forward and in what direction that's all gonna be different depending on the person so some people they like living in my you know they like living modestly they like you know minimalistic living and that's perfectly fine as long as you know you're up front with the person you're with that's perfectly fine ain't nothing wrong with that that's just not the way I want to live and so I, I need to be with somebody who wants to match the way I want to live because if not it just ain't gonna work so I saw that post and I thought that was a good like, I don't know. I just thought that was a good topic. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think. But, yeah. I, look. <laughs> I don't... I, I just... I, I like to live a certain way. I like to do certain things. And, and I, like, all the time, even my definition of success is different from other people. Like, I know a lot of people who who feel like they made it after they got themselves a Benz or some sort of 
not designer car but some sort of you know nice luxury car like that and i'm like nah me and my honda pilot is cool but your girl gonna be traveling and i'm gonna travel in nice accommodations you know i'm gonna travel several times a year i'm gonna buy myself what i want when i want you know that's kind of my definition of success i don't need the largest house i want something now i need something i'm gonna be comfortable in me and my kids gonna be comfortable in but i don't need the largest house on the block the most modern house i don't need all of that that's i don't need none of that uh, i just need something that that's gonna give me enough space to 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 be comfortable in you know so like some people their definition is having the biggest house the nicest car that's just that's not mine mine is i'd rather take that money that we spending on this this um crazy mortgage and crazy car note and go travel you know be like i said me and my honda pilot be rolling baby okay <laughs> so these kids just go mess it up anyway hell i don't need no big fancy car like that at least not right now i'm like i'm gonna get one one time in my life i feel like everybody need to feel the luxury at least one time in their life so i'll, I'll get one eventually but right now just ain't the time um but anyway i'm getting off topic i just I, I thought that was a good topic so i would love to hear you all's thoughts on that because i just i thought that was a great topic to talk about because like i said i hear all the time people talking about money don't matter in a relationship money's not important uh, no they lie money is important and money does matter honey it does matter i feel like that's what people break up for a lot of times and people also say stuff like money don't buy happiness <laughs> Look, I ain't saying money buys happiness, but I'm saying if I'm gonna be crying anyway, because that's what you're telling me. Like you, you gonna be, it's gonna be times where you sad, poor. It's gonna be times where you sad, rich. If I'm gonna be crying anyway, I'd rather cry in my nice house. Okay, I, that's all I'm saying. I'd rather cry not working three jobs to make ends meet. You know, that's and and not knocking anybody. Who's working three jobs working two jobs but I'm just I just like to tell my truth you know this is my truth because I feel like somebody in the comments gonna be like ain't nothing wrong working three jobs I work three jobs it ain't nothing wrong with it but my truth is that I'm not going to do it so I just need to clarify that y'all know how social media be but anyway um I am come on come on come on why we going so slow I am almost home so I'm gonna get home get some work done call this lash place to see if they'll have a last minute appointment and if not um we'll probably film some videos some reels and like i said start packing so let's go to the house and I'm hoping it's my clothes look oh you can't see FedEx oh I don't know if that box is big enough to be my clothes that look like shoes who the hell got shoes that man probably ordered some shoes and ain't tell me cause that don't look like a box big enough to be my clothes alright there's the doorbell let's see 
All right, so those were definitely shoes and those were definitely from Mark. But something else came for me that I wanna show you guys. So do you all remember? Okay, so one, first of all, don't judge me because I didn't need another one of these. However, I purchased one anyway. Um, you can probably tell what it is just from the like the shape of it but do you guys remember when i read the book earlier this year i read the book 75 hard well i've been like following the guy who wrote that book and who came up with the program on social media and he came out with it's called The Power List, Your Daily Guide to Dominating Your Life. And it was pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. It was like 35 bucks, but I don't know. I'll always support people like this. I just, first of all, y'all know I have a stationary problem. I love my stationary, but it's basically a daily like list maker. Anything like this is right up my alley. It's not a planner. Uh-oh, I got some of my nails. It's not a planner, but it's just like a daily list maker. So you can put your daily top five in here, um, your notes, what you're currently reading. You can say if today was a win or a loss. And then all the different notes you can put over here so you can make more lists. You can write reminders. You can just write a snapshot or a synopsis of your day. And it's literally a full book of that. So I'm excited about that. So I did pick that up, but... My clothes ain't came yet. <laughs> I'm waiting on, so I, I don't have tracking for it. They're actually from um, Boohoo and I don't have tracking for it. The clothes are actually for a campaign I'm doing, but I want to actually take some and wear them once I film the videos. So I'm hoping that they just get here soon and I didn't place the order, the brand placed the order, so I don't have the tracking for it. It's supposed to come any day now, so. <sighs> We're just waiting. All right, y'all. So I've been sitting here trying to figure out what I wanted to do with these lashes. They didn't have any openings in at the place that I'm about to make an appointment at now. They didn't have any openings for today. So I'm just going to make the appointment for Thursday and I'll just have to have to wait it out. Um, which I'm just kind of annoyed with because, I mean, I just am. I'm just kind of annoyed with it because I wanted to get them done today. I wanted to see how I would like them. I mean, I guess it's also better as well because, you know, obviously the closer I get it to the time we leave, the better they'll look, the fuller they'll look. So that's always nice, but it's just, I'm just annoyed. Because I wanted to really see how I liked them today. But. And it's what it is. It is what it is. Um, so I'm going to this place. Called Deca Lash. And all they do are lashes. I'm going to get the hybrid full set. I'm making my appointment right now. And. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully nothing happens. There was a girl that I wanted to go to. But her first available appointment that I could make wasn't until Saturday and we leave on Sunday morning and the what I don't want to do is wait until Saturday to try to book an appointment and then something happens and she cancels on me too and then I'm screwed. You know what I'm saying? So that I ain't about to, I'm not about to play with that again. So I, I just don't want to wait until the last minute. So I'm gonna go Thursday and hopefully I like it. So I'm about to film a video, so I'm getting ready to do my makeup real quick. But I wanted to show y'all something that I've been obsessed with, and it's these built bars. These are by the brand Built. I think that's the name of the brand. I'll link them down below. But they are 100% real chocolate. These are the salted caramel, but I also have a mint and I have a cookies and cream. Only 130 calories, y'all. I can't believe it tastes literally like a candy bar. And you can screenshot this if you want to. There we go. You can screenshot this if you want to see all of the nutritional facts. But it tastes like a candy bar. 
it's what is it like a little past noon i don't want to eat too much before my class it's a really heavy running day today so i don't want to eat too much so i'm gonna have a smoothie in about an hour hour and a half but um i wanted to eat this built bar just to tie me over keeps me so full y'all i don't know what they put in these but they're so good mm. so good i would definitely check them out today if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button and also smash that like button. Whew, hey guys what's up i am running late per usual headed to my workout here trying to get this uh pre-workout down it's hot as i don't know what so we steaming up hold on I'm about to be late for my class. I'm trying to get this pre workout in. Look how hot as hell out here. It ain't been really hot, hot. Like all July. It was pretty hot on the 4th of July. But after that, it's rained like every single day. Like Morgan has had softball games. I think they've been rained out ever since the first week of July. So I think it's like 90 degrees out here today, which like I said, it's always 90 degrees in July, but this July has just been, it's been like in the 70s a whole lot this year. Has it been the same for y'all? It's so loud. But has it been the same for y'all? It's rained like every single day. It's been crazy. Alright, so y'all, I don't have the slightest interest in running right now. So wish me luck because I feel like this is going to be tough and I'm going to die. So, <laughs> wish me luck. I've, I've, I've like followed their social media and everybody on their social media site is like we basically ran like two and a half miles 2.8 miles and so keep in mind you're only on the treadmill for about 25 minutes so i don't know what type of shit they're gonna have us doing but i don't feel like doing it all right i'll talk to y'all all right what's up people it's been a while since we spoke um it's about what time is it about eight o'clock yeah a little after eight o'clock and i figured tonight was the night i need to go ahead and pack my makeup for this trip so we're gonna pack brushes and we're going to pack all the makeup that i'm gonna need i'm gonna try to stay minimal y'all know me so i'm an overpacker it's very hard to do so it's like super dark over here but I'm an overpacker. It's hard to stay minimal when it comes to the makeup because obviously that's my thing. So um, one thing I know I shouldn't have to bring is lashes because we did make that lash appointment earlier. So shouldn't have to bring that, but everything else we need to pack. I already created my makeup packing list. So um, I do full faces. Like I don't usually I don't do any makeup during the day. But at night when we go to dinner, I'll usually do like a full face, try to get cute, try to get glam because it's kind of like a date night every night, you know. So I will do that at nighttime. So um, I need the whole shebang, the whole package. So I'm going to pick out some stuff and then I'll show you guys what I picked out. Mm -hmm.
think let's turn this back over here i think i have made some decisions and i'm going to show you guys what i am packing for the trip i do need to pare this down a little bit like i do have a few too many things but i'll show you guys at least what's what's on my mind right now let me get a bag to put this in All right, I'm just gonna throw it all in this backpack so I can take it upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got and it's quite a lot. So bear with me, okay? If you wanna see everything I'm, I'm taking, this is it. I'll probably take some out, like I said, but this is gonna be the bulk of it. So for foundation, did I only pull one? I think I did. I only pulled one foundation and it's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear. This, um, I actually specifically bought this foundation for vacation. It's a little bit dark for me, so it works out perfectly when I get a tan on vacation. And then to add with it, I have the NARS Tinted Glow Booster and I'm gonna bring that as well. You just need to add a little drop. It looks so great on your skin. I love it. Concealer, I packed two. I really need a lightweight concealer. One, I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear out too. I really love that. But I think I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me instead and just do something a little more lightweight for some days. Um, yeah, I don't need two full coverage. I'm gonna do the Maybelline Fit Me instead of the L'Oreal. I changed my mind again. I actually really love the NYX Born To Glow. So that's the one I'm going to take for my lightweight option. Okay, for con another concealer I have, this is kind of to sculpt out my brows and do anything else I wanna do. This is the RCMA um, concealer palette. So I'm just gonna bring this guy and if I have any blemishes to cover up or anything like that, I'll have something to do that with. I was trying to decide with under eye setting powder. I definitely want to bring my Pat McGrath. Um, this is the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I'm bringing that, and this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Setting Powder in Banana. I just switched out the container, but I don't think I'm bringing this now. Um, You know what? I'm not. I'm going to go with my uh, one size. I love this setting powder. This is the ultimate setting powder, the Patrick Star line. I love this setting powder, and this is the one that I'm going to bring instead. For under eyes, I'm also going to bring the Hydrating Under Eye Primer, just in case I have long days and I just want to, you know, hydrate under my eyes. I'm going to bring that. I like that stuff. Face primer is the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Face Primer. I love this. Um, what else we got? For brows, I couldn't decide um, on the pomade. So I have two pomades in my hand. I have the Kai Brow by Kylie Jenner and then the e.l.f. one. I really love both of them. I think I'm just going to go ahead and bring... I'm gonna just bring the e.l.f. one. So it's just the e.l.f. brow pomade. I really like this. And then I'm also going to bring the NYX brow glue. Love this stuff as well for keeping your brows in place. And then of course my Huda Beauty Bomb Brows pencil. I have a brand new one, so I'm going to bring that. Oh my God, so Mark just texted me this picture. He's upstairs with MJ, right? He just texted me this cute picture. My kids, like, oh my gosh, him and Morgan, my oldest daughter, there we go. He has this blanket on him, I don't know. Him and my oldest daughter look so much alike, like when they were babies, they look almost identical. I thought he was sending me an old picture of her instead of a recent today picture of MJ. Like, I don't know, I didn't look at the background. And I'm like, is this an old picture of Morgan? So cute. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's MJ. They're like twins, man. It's crazy. Okay, so for blush, um, I have two, three blushes here. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. I have been obsessed with this thing for years, and it's just three really pretty colors. This one is in Berry Adore. I love this one. And then I'm also going to bring two cream blushes because I'm obsessed with them. I'm going to bring this berry one. It's called um 
After Hours and it's by Tower 28. I haven't used this yet and I'm gonna bring that with me. I love their blush formulation. I'm also going to bring the um, Elf Putty Blush in the shade Bali because I love that one as well. I love this like brick red color. So I'm gonna bring that also. And for bronzer, we're going to go with one cream and one powder. So I have the NARS Sun Kissed Bronzing Cream in the shade Casino. I really love this and I love how small and packable it is. And then I'm also going to bring this powder and this one is in the shade Terracotta by Guerlain. I just lied, I just put that NARS cream bronzer back and I'm gonna bring the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand love this guy I've been using it a lot recently I'm gonna bring that with me that's what I'm gonna do highlighter we are going to go with this Huda Beauty rich glow obsessions mini face palette love this guy I'll have four different shades of highlighter it's very small and then for eyeshadows I can't live without these they're tiny they're perfect for travel I'm gonna bring the Huda Beauty chocolate brown obsessions and I'm also going to bring the Topaz obsessions as well face powder I have three I have the Urban Decay All Nighter which is a translucent powder the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder which is a super lightweight powder doesn't have much coverage and then I have the one size um, foundation powder so if I really want to go full coverage really want to go full glam I will have a powder that can complement that as well oh y'all I know I overpacked honey let me quit I also have the Anastasia. These are the brand new blush and bronzer. I'm sorry, blush and highlighter sticks. So this is what the highlighter looks like. I just hauled these. Um, and this one's in the shade Bubbly. And then I'm going to bring the blush in the shade Peach Caramel. And it's just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love this guy so much. Okay, now I want to bring the Merit Beauty um what is this mascara and then i have the hourglass this is the mechanical gel eyeliner in the shade black and for lips that's where i really like that's where i really like lost my shit because i have so many lip products in here um a lot of nudes i have some browns kind of like this shade like this is dose of colors cork i think yeah so i have browns in that shade i have this by anastasia beverly hills kind of like a brick brown shade of course i have a red which this is the nars air matte lip color in pinup um i have a clear gloss just the fenty clear gloss and glass slipper and then I have this like nude color brown. This is one of the Jaclyn Hill liquid lipsticks. I always bring like a brick, like a brick red with me. Is this berry or is this brick? This is brick red, right? Yeah. I always bring a brick red with me, even if it's not fall. Something about those deep burgundy shades just speak to me. Um... I have a lip balm in here by Laneige and then I have a bunch of different lip pencils to go with the lipsticks that I have. Oh, the Smashbox Always On liquid lip color, which I love. And then I have this Patrick Ta lip, lip gloss and she's an influencer. I love this one. So I just have a bunch of different lip options. The, um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser lip balm which you guys know is a favorite of mine bunch of different lip options so i'm gonna pare those down in a little bit but i'm also going to bring on top of that um so i also have setting sprays i have the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting spray and then the tatcha dewy luminous skin mist this is really nice for putting on when you're not wearing makeup as well so I have both of those, and then I'm gonna bring the JLo Beauty That Star Filter Complexion Booster. So I'm bringing that as well. Now, for perfume, I'm trying to pare this down also. I don't know if I wanna bring the Ellis Brooklyn Fable, one of my absolute favorite perfumes lately, y'all, seriously. I have a Dossier Fragrance in Woody Freesia. This is the dupe for like Armani C perfume, which smells 
so freaking good. I'll have a discount code to Dossier down below, by the way. If you guys have not shopped them yet, you should save yourself some money. I have the YSL, what is this, Prism Libre or something like that. I think that's what this is called. The Hermes Un Jardin Sur La Lagoon. It smells so good, that's all I know. I probably said it all wrong. The Heretic Florgasm. I'm still kind of getting used to this smell, but I'm gonna bring it, I think. Um, Replica Beach Walk. I just have this little tiny one. I have the Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And then I also have the Clean Classic in Warm Cotton. I cannot bring all these perfumes, this is ridiculous. So I also need to do some soul searching and pare down my perfumes as well because it's just too many, like I can't bring all those. But that being said, that is everything I need to bring for makeup and also everything that I need to bring like, I don't know, perfume, body spray, stuff like that. Um, I have this guy also, the Bum Bum Soul Oil. This one has SPF 30 in it and it just makes your body look just nice and oily and just looking real good, you know, when you're laying by the pool in your bathing suit. So I'm bringing that also. And then I have like my brushes and stuff in here. So that's that. If I can just figure out what I want to bring in, what I want to keep here, that is that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pack that in my suitcase tonight. And then I just have to get body care, skincare, of course clothes, shoes, accessories, carry-on bag, that sort of thing. So we're making progress. Good morning, thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Laura. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, I'm doing pretty well myself. Thank you so much for asking. What can I get started for you today? Good morning, you guys. So we are making our Starbucks run. I just grabbed me a nitro cold brew. As you guys heard, I am tired. I feel like this little, whatever I have, this little nasally congestion is kicking my ass. I did take some NyQuil last night, but I am like tired. I didn't sleep well because I was so congested, but I feel a lot better today, like a lot better, thank God. And the congestion is almost gone, so the medicine is helping. I'm like, I don't want to get on a plane feeling like this. First of all, I don't want to get all the dirty looks, you know. And of course, I don't want to give anybody else a cold either. Um, we'll be ma have masks on, but still. Uh, so, yeah. Daily Starbucks or uh, yesterday was Dunkin' Run. And then we're going to head to work. I actually go have to go into the office today. And I need to get some work done, have some meetings. I have lunch with my boss and just several things to do today. All right, so y'all, I'm in the car, and oh, as our music uh, streaming service, we use Tidal, and so they have like these curated playlists, and this is the um, family road trip hip hop playlist. So all the songs are clean, unfortunately. You know, this is my time to listen to ratchet music in its full glory, but all the songs on this playlist are clean, but they're all like good songs from different like eras. Oh my God, like y'all remember this? Chick and a telly going both ways. Touch me, tease me, kiss me, please me. I give it to you just how you like it, girl. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm good. Yo, 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 yo. I'm in the moment, don't forget about the day. Listen, I have the most to keep. It's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world. Oh my god, y'all. This dog was just like it was on the sidewalk and it decides to dart out in the middle of the street while I'm driving. I thought I hit it. I just knew I hit it. And then I saw it. It must have like went under the car. Like I thought I hit that damn dog. 
it like just darted out it was on the sidewalk it was standing there so i was already going kind of slow but not like super slow because it wasn't moving and then it just like darts out in the middle of the street and it didn't go fast where it would pass me it was like going like fast but slow like if that makes any sense i don't know it was like i just knew i, I killed that damn dog y'all Woo, lord okay let's get to work without any more distractions how about that so guys i left to work and um i had to leave early i left at three because mariah needed to be at gymnastics by four and i had to pick her up from my mom's get her dressed and then get her to gymnastics so I need to pick her up in a few. Of course, the line is out the door. I was gonna grab a frosted lemonade from Chick-fil-A, but I guess I won't. I need to pick her up in about 25 minutes or so, and I'm thirsty as hell. Might just grab a smoothie and then go home and cook dinner. But y'all, so <laughs> I was in Target and well first of all i went to go get raya and get her dressed and i leave the other two kids at my mom's house um because i don't want them just sitting if i decide to sit and wait on mariah i don't want them just sitting there um because they're gonna act a fool right so i leave them at my mom's and mark picks them up on the way home from work but as i'm there getting mariah dressed i noticed that morgan needs a training bra like you sh like I'm like oh my god are we here already my seven-year-old needs like a little training bra like she needs something so I ran to Target while Mariah's in her gymnastics class and I grabbed her some training bras all right y'all so I'm in Target I'm done with work I just dropped Raya off at gymnastics I'm in Target and um I am shopping for training bras like what the hell what the hell never thought I would be here but I am my girls are getting so big and Morgan needs a little training bra I noticed that today and I was like let me just grab her one while I'm here bruh look at these what the hell is up with these sexy ass bras these kids don't need no sexy bra what is happening why these kids need lacy bras? Look at this. These little baby bras. Why these kids need these little padded bras? Y'all, I got her these little basic bras right here. Y'all, first of all, they making some of these bras a little too sexy for these little kids, okay? You got like lace with little kids need with lace. You don't need no lace in you seven. What you need a lacy bra for? So, yeah, I'm in that bra section. Like, uh, she about to get like a basic, basic bra. She don't need no type of lace or none of that. What is we giving lace to seven and eight year olds and nine and ten year olds for? The hell they need lace for? So, Anyway, I picked her up a training bra. I also picked up a bunch of clothes. It also like hit me like a ton of bricks that four children this year need school clothes. School, well, three kids need school clothes and school supplies. But MJ, obviously he's gonna need new clothes every year because last year he was like a newborn <laughs> in the fall. So when the fall rolls around, he has no clothes, you know, so. I, I picked him up a few pair of pants and a few shirts and I picked Morgan up um, like seven or eight pair of pants. They have really great leggings at Target and they're super cheap. So they're five bucks a piece. So I picked her up like seven or eight pairs of different leggings and she loves to wear them. You can pair them with a lot of stuff. So I did pick her up though. So I'm like trying to get an early jump on school shopping since we have so many kids to buy for and so much stuff to buy. Like between school clothes and school supplies, it is extremely expensive. I think dress code, like, so I was reading an article in my high school. I went to uh, one of the high schools, like one of the Cleveland public high schools and we were in dress code and it's been dress code this entire time. Well this upcoming school year they are doing away with the dress code and the kids can wear whatever they want i think that is a very very dangerous thing especially in a neighborhood like that and let me tell you um 
I hated dress code as a kid because I'm like it takes away our individuality you know and you have to wear these specific clothes and it just kind of sucks when you're that age what the hell are you doing oh but it just kind of sucks when you're that age but as an adult I understand why dress code is so important a lot of people can't afford um to what are you doing lady a lot of people can't afford to buy all of these clothes, especially if you have multiple kids. Like, it's pretty darn expensive to buy all of these clothes if you have multiple children. And then, you know, kids are cruel. So they'll talk about you if you don't have, like, at least when I was in high school, if you ain't had, like, the latest Jordans. Or even with dress code, things got a little tricky because Dickies became a thing. And they were selling Dickies at, like, the popular, like, urban stores, at the stores that they sold, like, Okay, so I'm dating myself, but we used to wear like Rockaware and a Nietzsche, all that. Y'all remember them? So all those urban stores that sold those brands, they would sell these expensive ass Dickies. And we would, you know, buy those. Those were like $40 a piece. And if you ain't had a Dickies, then you wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Dickies with a pair of Jordans or a nice pair of Timberlands. You wasn't nothing. Like Uggs wasn't a thing back then. It was Timberlands. So... I just feel like for the people who can't afford stuff like that, dress code makes it easy so that everybody is uniform. But without dress code, it's like, now parents gotta go buy a whole new wardrobe for their kids every year. And if you're wearing the same shirt like a lot or the same, you know, jeans like a lot, people are gonna, kids are just really cruel. And I, I think dress code is a good thing now that I'm an adult, I really do. So. Um, I guess we'll see how that turns out for those kids, but hopefully not too bad.